We'll look at creating playlists now. To create a playlist, simply right click over here where it says playlist. Go to new and you have various options. You can create a folder to organize playlists in. You can create a regular playlist, an auto playlist, or a playlist mixer. We'll create a new playlist and we see we have nothing here. If we right click and say rename, we can rename the playlist. I'll call this one chill out. And you notice if you go to where you store your playlist, in my case in music playlist, I see the playlist M3U file where I can right click with my editor and modify it. So I'll close this and let's add some music into this playlist. I'm going to select these sounds from the ground songs, maybe the solar fields in Sing Tree. I'll just drag them in to the playlist like that. You can also right click and say and say add to playlist where you can select a playlist or start a new playlist. We go to our playlist. We can organize them by manual order, artist, or any one of these fields. We see here at the top the thumbnail for our playlist as well as how many tracks we have, the album, the duration of the playlist. And you will notice that the playlist looks much like our music tab using the same fields in the column browser. If we modify these fields, eventually Music B will adjust these for our playlist as well. We can also lock the playlist. And when you lock a playlist, it can no longer be edited. So that's a great way to stop modification of a playlist if you like the way it is. You can also unlock this. You can play now, play shuffled, add to queue, lock playlist, edit the playlist, list, such as removing duplicates and removing dead links. We can export the playlist. We can export as an M3U file. We can send playlists to the inbox, to our auto DJ. We can send to a folder, move to a folder or copy to a folder. We can also convert all the music in this playlist we want, file scan, and analyze the volume. We can duplicate the playlist, delete the playlist, rename, and from here we can also create a playlist. We can also open in a tab. And when we do that, now it's in its own tab. So we can go back to this tab and go to music while still having the chill out playlist tab open. Let's look at creating a smart playlist or an auto playlist. If we right click and say create auto playlist. It brings up a window where we can now specify the parameters or the rules for our auto playlist. I'll call this auto playlist smooth jazz. And I want all my smooth jazz music to be in this playlist. Or I want this playlist to automatically add any songs that are of genre of smooth jazz. So up here, we can specify the music track source. In this case, we can select from our music library, our inbox which is over here, this inbox playlist. We can select from our podcast or audiobooks, video. We can choose source from our playlist or folder. I'll select music library. We can add a description. Choose how we want to view the playlist by default view, album view, album track view, I'll just stick with the default view. 
And here we can decide how we want to match the rules, whether we want all of the rules to match or any. So in this case, I'm going to select, and you can see you can have a lot of options here for what you want to set the rules for. In this case, I'm looking for the genre. So I'll select genre. And here we specify whether we want the rule to be is, is not, is of any, and so forth. Contains. So a genre that, that contains smooth jazz or is not smooth jazz for anything that's not smooth jazz. So I'll select is and I'll choose the genre. We can also filter our duplicates, set the limit of our playlist. So if we want to set a limit, maybe 25 items, or we can set by minutes, hours, the size, album. I'm not going to set a limit on this. We can also choose to shuffle and select by track, album, artist, whatever. So now I'll select save. And we have three songs added to this auto playlist. Now I have a song that I want to add into my inbox and eventually in my library. by Acoustic Alchemy. Now I'll go to Organize. I'll quickly organize this song into my library. Notice that it is a genre of smooth jazz. I hit Reorganize. And we should see that that song has been added to our smooth jazz playlist. So that's creating auto playlists. There's another type of playlist that's supported in Music B called a playlist mixer. And when we click this, if we read what it says, it's a playlist mixer allows you to compose a playlist constructed from a list of auto playlist criteria, where a specified number of tracks are selected from each auto playlist. And on completion, the cycle repeats itself. So basically what this is saying is we're going to create criteria like we would normally do in an auto playlist. And once the playlist has completed its first rotation of playing, it will look at the criteria again and add even more music to the playlist so that we have a continuous mix of songs that we can listen to. Let's see how this works in action. So what I'll do is first name this playlist and I'll call it Chill Out and Electronic. And I will select music that is of genre. Electronic. And I'll add genre that is of type. Chill out. And I'll say update. And we'll set the track count. And I'll say we'll do 10 and hit save. Let me right click and make sure that we say match any and update. So now we have a list of 10 songs that meet our criteria and here's what happens once we reach the end of this playlist so I'll go ahead and play this song and go to the end now what will happen once we finish this playlist mix is it's going to look at the criteria of this playlist again and randomly select more songs based on the criteria of the playlist and add them to the mix of a limit of 10 so we watch as this playlist continues to so watch over here. Notice that we now have an additional 10 songs loaded into our playlist. This was the last song from the first rotation. And then it selected some more songs added. So now we have a queue of 20 songs. 
So that's how that works. It basically allows you to create an infinite playlist based on the criteria that you specify in the playlist mix. I think it's a really cool feature and an interesting take on auto playlists. Now let's take a look at creating folders. If you right click in new, new folder, we can create a folder called chill out playlist. And this is just a way that you can organize your playlist. So I'll move all my chill out playlists into the chill out playlist folder. And we'll notice because we move the playlist into a folder, it's broken our selection of tracks. If we go to our playlist folder, we'll notice that the playlist, our chill out playlists are gone. It's been moved into this folder. Our playlist is the M3U file. And because of that, the path to the songs are different. We'll need to modify this playlist to fix our songs. So what we'll do is just select this dot slash and I'm going to go to edit or search. We want to do a replacement. And I'll select these dot slashes with a double dot slash. We'll replace all. Hit save. And it fixes our songs. So now we don't have those broken links. So just be mindful that when you create a folder, when you already have playlists, and you move those playlists into the folder, understand that it will actually create a folder in your playlist folder. And you might need to modify your playlist if you're using M3U files. Auto playlists in the Music B playlist format don't believe need to be updated. As you can see here, this auto playlist didn't need to be updated. So that's a look at creating playlists, auto playlists, playlist mixers, and creating playlist folders.